When should you use a 301 redirect and in which case should you use a 302 redirect? The answer is very simple. You should never use a 302 redirect if you are not going to use that URL again. So if you're redirecting one URL to another and you're, you're sure that the old URL is never going to be used again, it's a 301. If you're not sure, it's a 302. That's it. Good luck. Hey, Marcel Boatsman, who we know as Nostromo on Twitter and everywhere else, emailed us asking, can you explain when to use a 302 and when to use a 307 uh, for temporary URLs? Yes, I can. Well, um, it's actually quite simple. If a URL is really, really temporary, please do use a 307. Only use a 302 if you want the uh, URL that you're redirecting to show up in the search results with the uh, contents of the page that you're redirecting to. So you have page A with a URL and you have page B with the content. You want the URL of page A to show up with the content of page B in the index. If that's what you want, use a 302. If that's not what you want, use a 307. If something is not temporary but permanent, use a 301 redirect and not anything else. Good luck. Ahmed M. Hassan emails us asking, if I want to use a link that has been 301 or 410, or 410 before, can I cancel that redirection and use it again? Yes, you can. What I would do is if you do that, is do a, a fetch and render from Google Search Console to that URL and then submit to index so Google knows that that URL now has content again. Because otherwise it can take months or even years for Google to come back to that URL because it thought that you had redirected or deleted it. So use fetch and render for that and get those old URLs back in if you really need to. If you need to do this a lot, you need to think about your redirection strategy and whether you're redirecting too quickly though. So good luck. We got an anonymous question from for Ask Yoast asking, I want to move from my, my site from www and HTTP to non -dub 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 and HTTPS. What should I do? Strip www and then force HTTPS or force HTTPS and just then strip www? Um, neither. You should do both at the same time. Um, there's a couple of ways you can go about that. So you should redirect all the HTTP links straight to the HTTPS version without the dub 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 and not try and do that through two 301 redirects. You should do that in one 301 redirect. And forcing HTTPS is something that you need to test really well. Um, it, there's all sorts of things on your site that probably aren't HTTPS ready that, that you should know of upfront. I know it was a hard a lot of hard work to get Yoast.com to HTTPS, and we don't have ads. Especially ad servers can be really tough to get working on HTTPS. But um, you should do it in one go. So it's really secret option number three, redirect from the one to the other straight away and don't think about anything else. If you really can do uh, HTTPS for everything and it works fine, make sure to add an uh, HSTS strict transport security header which forces everything to be over HTTPS. And then if uh, the browser sees an HTTP link in the content somewhere to your domain, it will still grab the HTTPS version so that it will automatically grab the right ones. Good luck. Hey, Kirsten Lentfer emailed us saying, my website is a calendar for food events. If I delete and redirect events pages once an event has passed, I'll end up with loads of redirects, mainly to the homepage, versus a relatively small number of live pages. How does that affect my SEO? Is it better to keep the old pages? Well, if that event is a yearly thing, then it's definitely better to keep the event page around and just update it for the next year. Um, if that event is a one-time only thing, then I would delete it or keep it around if there's a lot of content on it that people might want to look at later. It depends a bit on, on how thin these pages are. If they're very thin, I would delete them. If they're rich, then I would just keep them around and keep them as a sort of history. Um, 
But for yearly events, it's a very good idea to actually have a page that returns every year because then you'll start ranking for each of those events better and better as time goes by. Good luck. Hey, William Anderson emailed us saying, I'm thinking of redirecting all my responsive pages to my AMP pages because I prefer their look. The AMP pages click through rate is astounding, but I'm wondering what the SEO implications will be. Well, to be honest, what do you call a responsive page? If you have separate, separate mobile pages that you can redirect to your AMP pages, perfectly fine, go for it. And if you have a responsive version of your website, then doing that is actually technically very hard um, and not something I'd recommend. Google is pushing the idea of what they call canonical AMP, so the idea that AMP is the only version of your page. If that fits your business, by all means go for it because I think it's a very good idea for your click-through rate and a lot, other, a lot of other things in terms of rankings. Hope that helps. Good luck. Hey, Elias Nielsen emailed us uh, saying that he read our article about cloaking affiliate links and he's wondering if this solution is still up to date. Is it still a good idea to re redirect via this script? Honestly, yes. Um, link cloaking, uh, which sounds negative because we use the word cloaking, is basically hiding from Google that you're an affiliate. Um, and if you're an affiliate, that's still the thing that you want to do because usually Google ranks original content that is not by affiliates better than it does affiliates. So uh, yes, I'd still recommend that method. Um, the link will be uh, below this post so you can see the original post that we were referencing. It's a very simple method to cloak your affiliate links. And uh, it, I think it works in probably the best way that I know of to, uh, to do this thing. So keep going, good luck. Hey, thanks for watching. Check out the next video and make sure you subscribe to not miss any of our videos. In fact, if you really want to make sure, check the bell icon and you'll get notifications for every one of our videos. See you soon.